Hi, this is Griffin Connor from First Update Now, coming to you from the Chesapeake District Championship at Hampton, Virginia. Today, I am here with Justin Babalino, Rachel Jacobson, Joshua Nichols from Team Twenty Three Sixty Three Triple Helix. Today, they're going to be talking about uh, the mechanical aspects of their robot, then go in detail about their uh, phenomenal autonomous that they presented throughout the, the season, and then talk about their uh, run to the win in the district championship today. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First Updates Now is supported by Stryker Careers. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. All right, so what can you tell me about the robot here? Specifically, let's look at this great intake of yours that Lay has just done so well. Yeah, so it's a little unconventional. Most teams use um, are using like compliant wheels to intake, but we prototype with these flapper. It's basically like a flexible plastic, and we cut it into strips. And we found that if you rotate, if you put two pieces here, and we had a whole process of like where to position them. It's actually on our website. Um, but if we found that we could put them all, we could position them in the right place and spin them together, and then as soon as we stick a ball in it always just gets sucked right up so um yeah and then eventually later on we we figured out that we wanted to independently control these two because we could we could stick it in the middle of the robot stick it in and then it would allow us to feed balls quicker into the um into the shooter so we could do two successive shots all right and you guys also came to your first event with a five ball auto and it in fact had an instance where you did a six ball auto by a lucky drop of a ball from the from the high goal so what exa how exactly were you able to make that so consistent what exactly went it all into that so there are two main parts to our autonomous first our trajectory planning and second our position estimation and trajectory following so first for our trajectory planning in the off season we wrote a custom swerve library based on trajectory optimization that applied like the physics of swerve drives using um, voltages, voltage dynamics, motors, physics, the whole kinematics of the swerve drive, which is really something that Whippy Lib and Path Planner aren't doing at the moment. So once we're able to generate these trajectories on the robot, we then move on to our position estimation. So for this, we, we use odometry, but we use the position of the motors to keep track of our location instead of velocity, as most teams are using. Um, and finally, we combine this with the camera for, with sensor fusion to gain pretty accurate position estimation. All right. And then, of course, as you're showing right now, you guys just won the Chesapeake District Championship, showing like, that you have four blue banners now from the season. So for this specific district championship, what was your strategy going into eliminations? And how, like, what made it work so effectively to get you the win? Well, a large part of our success was the extensive scouting scouting team that we had. We had a um, scouting team both in person and a lar larger scouting team working at home, scouting through the stream and otherwise. Um, going through the experience is all about mainly the numbers. We looked at how effective how effective teams shot and how they climbed. Um, for our specific specific alliance, we wanted to make sure that we had another alliance that was also a really good shooter and also a traversal climb and also a good defense. And through this, we were able to um, win our championship. All right. Well, on behalf of First Up Now, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of the day. And again, congratulations on such an amazing season. You guys definitely deserved all the blue banners you got. Thanks to Striker Careers for their support in this video. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.